run. Just run. Hi guys, daily question, although not so daily obviously. So, don't know what I've got to answer, ask you this week. Uh, boo do 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 me new 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 What are some of your goals for this year, reselling wise? Drop your answers down below. Hi guys, so it's Tuesday and that means one thing, of course, we are going around the charity shops as usual. Um, I'm meeting my grandma and granddad for lunch as well. Sometimes we do that on a Tuesday, not every week, but sort of a couple of times a month, something like that. It's always nice to meet up with them and just sort of spend a little bit of time over a meal. It's just, it's just nice to see them. They don't really have a car anymore, so I don't get to see them as much as I used to, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, it's always nice when I do get to meet up with them in town. So if I get anything from town, I'll be sure to do a haul video and I will tag it on to the end of this video. If I don't get anything, then I won't do a haul video. Um, but yeah, I will go around, share with you a bit of footage as I normally do. And then later on in the week, I will probably do another vlog that's gonna be centered around home. Um, and it's just going to probably follow one of my eBay days, essentially. So, with that being said, um, I will leave it there. And, uh, yeah, we will get on with today. Run down, look at my face. You're beautiful, but your heart is a mess. Crying every night. Where's the solution you can't seem to find? So I am in town now, everywhere is just opening because it's only just 9 o'clock. My mum has gone for a hair appointment so uh, we're in town for quite a while today actually. We're in town for like 4 hours because she's got to get her hair coloured or whatever she gets done. I don't even know but it's literally going to take like 2 or 3 hours. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to wander around and see where I can go, see what shop is open first and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So I am just walking towards my last charity shop of the day. It's been really, really poor today. Uh, I've got one item, that's it. Um, I don't know what it is, but in Northwich recently, it's been really, really bad for charity shops. So whatever you do, don't come to Northwich to go charity shopping, because yeah, it's really poor. Hopefully next week I'll be getting out to a different town though, because I really do need to do that. It's just, yeah, I've just been going around the same town, my same local town for weeks upon weeks and uh, I need a fresh location really to get some good stuff. Right, since I've got a little bit of time to kill because I've done the charity shops and I can't be bothered going back round them because I don't think there's going to be anything else I might find. To be honest, there might have been, but I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to go in Lidl or I'm going to go in B&M. I might, I might find something in B&M, &B you never know. But I'm going to go in there, kill a bit of time and then uh, go to meet my grandparents. It started like a raindrop Raindrop, but it's right. If you want to do it, B and Q it. Oh no, wait, we're in B and M's, aren't we? Oh, look at this here. We've got Lego. I'm gonna have a look at the Lego. Don't know whether it'll be worth going on, but you never know. There's, I don't know. It'd probably be cheaper in here because it's B and M, so you never know. Well, plenty of cool things in there, um, although there wasn't anything really to resell. I was mainly thinking of looking at the chocolate and stuff. But I didn't get any because I just had some dental work done yesterday and it's not really 
it's not gonna settle for a few days so I'm gonna wait a few days then get some chocolate basically I went one year and two months of having quite a severe cavity and I had to get root canal done yesterday um, I was in severe pain for ages and ages but I didn't want to go to the dentist because of having so bad anxiety and it being specific to anything medical um, but yeah finally got it done yesterday so I was so pleased with that Swaying non stop, non stop. I guess I gotta swim in the sea. I am not afraid of mistakes. So I am at the lockup now. I've just had lunch with my grandparents. I treated them with the money from that sale in my sales update. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll have to watch my previous sales update I suppose it'll be at this point um, but yeah we're going in gonna go in here and see what I can pull out for the next few days trust me it was way worse than this a few days ago uh, the boxes were piled up to here but yeah it's uh, looking a little bit better now but there's still a lot of stuff from my last auction and in about probably less than two weeks I've got no actually two weeks today yeah it should be about two weeks today I've got another auction um, and then this is going to get filled up again so yeah we're going to have a bit of an excess and backlog of stuff that is all my uh, I know some of you all know this already but that is my um, quarter four stuff for Amazon FBA so it's that full shelf and it goes right to the bottom down there as well uh, I need to get a little bit more for it um, I think there might be a few bits on there as well those bags there need to get a little bit more for quarter four for Amazon but I'm fairly happy. It's not as big as last year, but I'm fairly happy at this point. But yeah, gonna grab a few of these boxes for the next few days and uh, get back home, I think. Slow day at the car boot. Then you need the Ads Experience hoodie. This hoodie is guaranteed to get you the goods. So I am back now after a rather long trip out to town. Obviously, I saw my grandparents, went around charity shops, did the food shopping as well. My mum had a hair appointment and stuff. Went over to B&M. Um, so, yeah, did quite a lot of stuff, really. Unfortunately, the charity shops were poor yet again. Now, I'm not going to say that it might not be partly ma like me to do with me, because it could be. It could be the fact that, um, obviously, I'm going round and... I'm maybe being a little bit more robotic or something like that because obviously the past few times I've not really got much so then I go in a bit more negative and I've talked about this before so I won't touch upon it too much but it might be that it might be that I'm just I've got a bit more of a negative viewpoint going around with charity shops or a bit more of a, a robotic viewpoint at the moment um, or it might be the fact that there just simply isn't anything there and I'm looking and I can't find it could be to do with the fact that prices seem to be quite high at the moment in my local area. I mean, there was a tub of Mr. Potato Heads, for example, that were sticking up at £15. And then there was a Lotto Bear in the same charity shop, actually. Uh, it's a fairly big one, and I thought, oh, I could make some money on that, even if it's sticking up at five quid or something. But that was sticking up at a tenner, and I think it'd go for 15 or 20 quid or so, something like that. I don't, I don't quite know, but... Yeah, so prices are quite high. Also in numerous of the other charity shops, there's things in cabinets and stuff, and even outside of the cabinets that are priced ridiculously high. There's a Harry Potter... Um, it's a first edition and some sort of print one, like maybe five, fifth print one or something, or third print one or something. I'm not too sure, but it was sticking up at like 95 quid, and it's like, bloody... All right, if you're going to charge that, fair enough. But if after, let's say, three or four weeks of it being in the charity shop price it like severely reduce the price because you're obviously not going to get that this isn't ebay you know uh, when you go to the charity shops you, the charity shops the charity shop managers don't have a global audience you know so yes okay we can try and get that global price that we can charge on ebay but if you don't get it they should recognize that they're not going to get it and just reduce the price but it seems that a lot of charity shops now are very very stubborn and they won't even reduce the price much at least in my area so i don't know there's probably a number of factors why i'm not getting much at the moment but also it's like i mentioned i just need to go to a fresh area i've got plans to go somewhere 
anywhere else next week in which I will take you along and we'll see how that sort of differs and see if I can get a little bit more stock and I'm betting that I probably will be able to get at least more than I've got today and maybe on other occasions recently so that should be good um, but yeah so anyway I'll leave it there I will get on with the haul now I've got a couple of bits that uh, from my lockup that I picked up just to extend the video out and make it a little bit more interesting um, other than just the one item that I picked up from the charity shop so that being said I'll get on with this so first up we're going to go through very quickly these items of series uh, world dalton series wear for my lockup i didn't even realize i had bought these um they were just in a random box and yeah i hadn't even a clue really now i paid three, uh, 463 pound uh, that's including commission for my last auction haul in the lockup you will have seen maybe 70 75 percent of it i've already processed about 25 percent of it um and yeah you can see it's just a mess it's crazy or all, all the rest of it so I don't really know how much I paid individually for these items, but if I was to work it out individually, it's not going to be more than about two quid because there's hundreds of items in that haul. It was a massive haul, uh, tons and tons of boxes. I actually used my granddad's van and we filled up the van quite a lot. It was pretty crazy. Um, you know, not necessarily f filled up to a roof, but like all the bottom of the van was like full. So it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so these are going to be around a tenner each. There's a couple in here that I'm going to be lucky to squeeze a tenner out of. I don't know what it is with Royal Dalton series where at the moment, but I seem to get it every every single time I go to the auction. But I do like it. It's just a shame it's not worth as much as, as maybe it was uh, a few years ago or something. But yeah, this one is called The Doctor, just so it's series where I play it. So a tenner on that one, or there or thereabouts anyway. Uh, next one, we've got this Admiral. There are some people who've got certain ones of these plates on for more than a tenner, but the solds don't reflect those prices. The solds are a lot less than that. So like, there's, I think there's some of these on for like 20 quid. But you're going to be waiting a long time to get 20 quid on these. You may as well just price in line with with like the top end of solds and then actually get your money out of them at least a little bit more quickly. Um, but yeah, this is the Admiral here. So again, another series where I play. Uh, we've got uh, the Falconer there. That That is top, top end of tenor, really. I'm going to be pushing even at a tenor for that one. But yeah, £10 on that one. Uh, we've got the Jester here quite like that one but again pretty much top end a tenor on that one which is a bit of a shame because i quite like that plate there but yeah that's that one uh next one is the squire um i might be able to push a little bit more was this the one on sold that i thought i might be able to push a bit more maybe it was this one but again around a tenner it's not gonna be much more if i'm gonna maybe if i'm pushing a little bit more it might be 12.99 or something so not a lot more but yeah that's that one and then um the parson again pretty much just a tenner on that one but yeah still nice i mean if it cost me let's say an average of around one pound fifty each if i can get a tenner out of each of them i'm still pretty happy with that you know it's still not too bad and you might think well you know it's a bit of a challenge to package up for 10 quid or whatever i suppose in one way i agree with you but because i've been packaging up so many ceramics it's not as much of a challenge for me anymore to package up these plates and especially if you have the right boxes to hand so you know i buy the boxes off eBay. well i say I buy them but i get them with my voucher and stuff off ebay and if you can get like decent like uh, size ones sometimes i don't put them in the ebay boxes because they're only single walled uh, single wall but if i get a decent enough size one a big enough one then i will put them in there and just you know laden them with big bubble and void fill free void fill that i get like newspaper and stuff so it's not so bad so if you have the boxes to hand it can be quite actually it can actually be quite quick to package them especially when you're getting used to them so yeah that's those there anyway and then the one item i got from the charity shop is this black and white two i paid 50p for it which is actually a really good price i was just i was just saying a minute ago about how you know some prices are high in charity shops well you know can't complain 50p for that for, for a pc game whether you're reselling it or you're not reselling it 50p is a brilliant price um so yeah black and white 2 i think it goes for about 13 14 quid on amazon something around there anyway the only problem is the case to this side here it's a bit loose so i'm gonna might have to describe that on amazon maybe put it in acceptable condition or something or maybe just sell it on ebay i don't know what we're going for on ebay maybe close to a tenner something like that but for 50p i thought i'm just gonna take it because this was um 
maybe in the sixth or seventh charity shop and I was pretty much getting to the end then and I thought I've got I've got to pick it up because I can't find anything today and I just need to find at least one item so especially because I was doing the vlog as well I thought to myself well I at least need something to show people so yeah I mean it's going to be a bit of profit in that at least so yeah that's that one there anyway and yeah that's everything so hope you enjoyed the vlog part of it anyway despite the whole video part of it not being brilliant or not being incredibly up to standard or anything but I'll try and do a little bit of uh, editing and stuff and, and make it a bit fun and exciting the vlog part of it anyway so I'll leave it there guys and I will see you in the next one I'll probably do as mentioned at the start of this video um, a vlog later on in the week sort of a, a more house based one uh, just maybe showing you a few of the items that I picked up from my lock up you know maybe do a bit of a haul video in there I'm not too sure but we'll see I'll try and make it a little bit interesting and uh, show you a bit of my day one of the days this week so with that being said I will see you in the next one guys don't forget to subscribe like the video if you did indeed like it comments questions or queries as always drop them down below and I will see you very soon so I'll see you in the next one guys I'll give you what I got the alcohol of that is flowing wild so grab yourself a